Hello guys and welcome to another Taylor's Principle Editor tutorial. Um, after that Sigils tutorial on how to create Sigils, I'm going to show you how you make a puzzle arranger. This is probably really, really easy. Um, as you might see, I um, uh, yeah did a bit of refinements to the room and I created a little extra room over here where we get access to if um, we uh, completed the puzzle arranger. And uh, this is probably really easy, I think. And um, for that, we just need a plasma door. So I place this. Uh, we just take a plasma door like this. You can take a door or anything else you want to activate. Uh, um, I want just this plasma door to activate. So let's modify this width so it fits perfectly. Yep, it does. Um, okay. Then uh, this is just a random room. It has nothing. And then we add uh, the puzzle arranger. So go to your entity list, press P and go to the puzzle arranger over here and drag this in. This will give you first a really really big uh, cube. Oh wait, there's a script open. This will give you a really really big um, yeah box and it needs puzzle data, uh, the puzzle arranger in params and uh, nothing different I think. And um, my windows is bugging. It's quite annoying, I think, that it... Yeah. I don't know. Um, and, um, yeah. Uh, first, we need the puzzle arranging params. So for that, we're going to simply browse uh, and go to the path content tailors presets puzzle arranger stand 01.rsc. Load this in, and uh, you see, actually, it's um, small, but right. It's... Uh, Actually, uh, this um, puzzle arranger you know, but it's empty, as you see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fuck it, okay. The editor has just crashed. Okay, oh my god. Um, yeah, this probably shouldn't happen, but I do not cut this out, because then you probably can see that yeah, there are some bugs. I hope my map is not corrupt right now. This would be really fucking up. Um, so let's go back in. And I don't know if this happens if we have an empty arranger, but now the arranger is gone. So, um, yeah, even the plasma wall. So, yeah, fuck. Editor just crashed. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, let's ignore this. And I have another announcement to make. You can easily add me on Steam if you want to question me something or if you want that I test your map. Even I'm not the Taylor's expert, I need to say. Uh, you can just add me on Steam. My name is somewhere in the description. And um, just go ahead and add me and you can yeah, write me questions or something. I, I really appreciate your help. And yeah, let's add the plasma door here once again. I hope the editor does not crash right now. Nope, it doesn't. Let's save, and then we're gonna grab the uh, puzzle arranger once again and drag this in. And we do not play when the puzzle arranger is empty. I don't know if it, this was a bug from there, but um, let's load this back in. And you see, this is the empty puzzle arranger. It does not have any uh, sigils inside because we need to feed him the puzzle data. So let's go to Puzzle Data and Browse, and we saved our arranger file in the Content Tailors Databases Arrangers, because you actually need to have it there, um, as we said in the last uh, tutorial. So let's grab the My Arranger, and you see it's looking good, but maybe it's not looking good at you. It's because I tested it out before. Um, at, the, uh, at the beginning, it will look like this. Let me put the values back to where they were. It will look like this in the beginning. Two fat buttons. And, um, or maybe this was at one, I don't know, but two fat buttons and they're completely bugging out. And this is because you basically need to modify the values for shell area stretch and arrange area stretch. And the values from the official game are for the shell area stretch 0.033 and for the arrange area stretch uh, 0 0.05 and if you set those values you see it's looking kinda good right now and this is probably the right thing. Let me put this uh, to the original again because I modified something there and um, now um, you see we have arrange and shell values the shell values are for this where the sigil holders are in 
and um, you can basically um, just configure them by doing 0 and 10 which stretches out there and then 0 and uh, 14 and stretches to the bottom and this is basically those are the default values which are used for uh, the basic shell area stretch I don't know here's kinda open thing but you can just ignore this or put the value to 15 but then it will overlap a bit I don't know it works then take 15.5 or something so it fits perfectly I just take 15 it's okay okay um and you see all one sigil which is uh, applied to that arranger is uh, perfectly fitting and you see if you look close a small uh, tile texture so um, if we had more uh, sigils in our arranger it will automatically pop into there and then um, after we did all we can save our arranger file and uh, you may notice uh, these uh, checkboard where we can put our sigils in it's now set to zero till ten so it's ten by ten and that's probably too big because you can't put all one eye tile in there so if you modify this arrange area left and right values you can basically define the arrange value where you want it and this works with up and down so we can easily make uh, yeah, a cutout where our shape should be in so I think this is great because I know the eye tile is a 1 by 4 so if you have more tiles you probably need to figure out before what size it needs to have to fit okay did it save it um, now it works I can play you see yeah okay I already did that okay so let's type in again cheat clear Taylor's progress and uh, let's move this a bit more right and uh, then to the bottom probably a bit too on the bottom and uh, then you see um, we can click use and it says this lock requires more sigils this one because we have not this one so we could complete the level right now and do the arranger but first we need to link this so actually we can unlock this door with it so um, this is working with a script so let's grab a script entity. Um, a little note about when I do scripts in my levels. Um, I will not. Uh, I will not surely uh, explain how the scripting works, because the scripting is based on the programming language Lua, and Lua is an easy programming language. You probably know this. Um, uh, so I will not explain you how to use Lua, because that is something which you can really do on your own. I will just tell you how you can uh, basic. Uh, I will just tell you how you can basically um, access the Taylor's functions from Lua and run evented scripting and so on and maybe I do this in other tutorials as well so if you drag the script entity out you see in the entity we got just in script auto run and variables uh, just ignore this and press E and you see we get the script editor on the right which is basically just a big window uh, yeah where we can enter script in um, so let's write in um, something first we need the script to tell him that f we need to tell the script that he waits till this arranger is solved. So we type in wait in brackets and this probably waits. You could now wait for a delay of 10 seconds or you could even wait for an event. And we want to wait for an event. So we type in event. We're gonna wait for an event. So um, we're gonna wait for an event and in brackets we define this event so this is some event and this is the event of the ranger being solved so we type in arranger and you see this is now the variable for the arranger but it's not done because actually it's not the variable we need to link it to do this simply click on the target on the uh, arranger in this case hold control alt and shift so you need to hold three keys and then you can drag the uh, um the uh arranger uh, keep the buttons pressed and drag this onto the word arranger and then you see the word is green and it has a meta handle over here and it's linked and now if we press uh, double point for example uh, you use double point after a variable to call its functions you see auto completion so we can uh um run a function for example appear or disappear which makes it visible or not and use the dot 
to uh, have any event message and we want the dot for event message and then we have the auto completion and we just grab solved so double click on solved and this is done so what this does it waits for the event when the arranger is solved so once we solve the arranger this is uh, this is um, fired so now we can write in the console with print let's write arranger solved yay so um, then it prints arranger solved yeah to the console and then we're gonna wait for a bit of delay so we're gonna use the wait expression as well and type in delay instead of event and let's delay for two seconds and after we delay it for two seconds we open up this uh, gate by typing uh, wall or let's do gate and we also need to link this as many of you already thought I hope Control, Alt and Shift, hold and drag this onto the word, it's linked. And then we use double point, not dot, because we don't want any uh, a, um, event to grab. We want a uh, function to call, and we call the function force open, because this forces the door to open no matter what's connected there. And then our script is done. Let's test it out. So I'm really excited about this. Um, you see, we got no message over here. So let's uh, complete our level. Let's grab the sigil. Let's grab the star for competition reasons. And uh, you see, we picked them. It tries to call an achievement, but uh, we're cheating and I already have those achievements anyway. And we can now complete it. You see, we have our piece and it works perfectly in here. Right now, nothing in the console. Let's put it in there. You see, we got uh, in the console now, arranger solved, yay. It waits two seconds and then it opens up the gate. And that's probably all of this tutorial. Um, make sure uh, you don't have to save. You can e either uh, run the script as in local, but then it will say script in C script entity must be run as in separate file, so it's better if you do. Um, uh, for the crumbs entity, I did not use this too, so you can decide. Uh, if you want warnings or not. But this is the basic thing how to unlock with an arranger a door or something. So I hope you liked it. If you have a question, for example, how to play a sound file or, or something uh, with a script, just tell me, I will help you. Bye!